Okay, so I'll tell you this one story, and this is a story that has to deal with hijab. Are you guys ready for this? Sure. Because this is going to make you feel some type of way. Okay. I'm good. So in 1955, in Syria, there was a family of five, a mother and a father and three daughters, who decided to flee the country, flee Syria, and head to America. Now, the father was... The father wa told the, the wife and the three daughters, listen, I'm going to go to America, I'm going to go to California, I'm going to get everything set up, and then three weeks later, you and the three daughters come meet me in California. So the father flies to California, is getting everything set up, three weeks pass, the mother takes the three daughters, and they head you know, from Syria to America. Their first flight was from Syria all the way to New York City, where they had a layover. Now when they landed in New York City, the custom said, hey, you guys are here new to, new to America. You need to take all your hijabs off for the green card photo so that you guys can you know, stay in America. So the mother, being by herself, not really knowing the English language, is nervous and scared. She said, okay, she took the hijab off and took the photo, put it back on. Next oldest daughter did, second oldest daughter did. The third daughter, a 13-year-old girl named Hala Atik, said when it was her turn, hijab is part of my faith and I don't want to take it off for this photo. And the security, you know, they kind of went back and forth with her and they said, well, listen, little girl, we'll send you back to Syria if you don't take your hijab off for this photo. And she said, I would rather go back to Syria. And this is a young 13-year-old girl who flew all the way from Syria to New York in a foreign country. They're in a foreign country. You know, I mean, she should be scared. You know, she doesn't know what's going on. She said, I would rather go back to Syria than stay in this country if you guys are going to take my religious, you know, rights away. Security came, management came, they put her in a back room, they made each older sister go to her separately and talk to her. They had the mother go talk to her. Then the 13 year old girl said, I don't care who you bring back here, I will not take my hijab off for this green card photo. After two and a half hours passed, the whole security's there, management's there, cops are there. They finally said, hey, little girl, you can keep your hijab on, you can take the photo. And I have the photo, it's a beautiful photo, it's a black and white photo. What, the mom, was <clears throat> what was this? What 1955. Wow. Now the mom is super upset at this time because she's nervous. She's, she's missing her husband. Syria to New York is not an easy flight. And she's like, you're so stubborn. Why don't you just, take, why don't you just listen to me? So they grab their suitcases and she's like pissed off at her daughter. And they run to their next gate. They miss their flight. So now this family who spent all their money, they're like, you know, Syrian refugees. They're now like even more scared and even more worried. And the mom's like, now what do we do? They go to United Airlines, they talk to them, they, they negotiate, they're like, well, we can't do anything, you guys are making it difficult. Finally, they mutually agree that we'll put you on the next flight to California. They get on the next flight, while they're flying to California, the mom is yelling at this 13-year-old girl like the entire time, like, you're so stubborn, I'm, I miss my husband, I'm tired. They land in California, and their husband's, the, the father's there, and he's in tears and he's crying. And he's like, you're alive, you're alive. And he's like, they're like, why wouldn't we be alive? The flight that they were supposed to get on, American Airlines number 191, crashed, killing 295 people. It was the biggest crash in American Airlines history. And the young girl, Hala, 13-year-old Hala, looks up at her whole family and says, hijab saved our life. Wow. She was there in California. I'm having an event on September 8th. Hala was there. Hala's coming. She's now like, you know, an old woman. She still wears hijab. I put this on my platform, Muslims of the World, about a year and a half ago. Over 40 million people ended up reading that story because it went viral. And out of that 40 million, when it went viral, about 10 people converted to Islam because of that story. And about 20 Muslim girls have messaged us and said that they put on hijab because of this story. Wow. That's that awesome. is probably my favorite, most favorite story. I can't imagine there's anything better that can be done. Original ticket was on American Airlines Flight 191. Bound for Los Angeles, the doomed aircraft set to depart O'Hare on May 25, 1979 at 3.04 p.m. The nose and the left wing apparently hit first. As the plane took off, the primary engine fell off. There were multiple explosions. It was in the air for just 31 seconds before it crashed to the ground, killing all 271 people on board and two people on the ground. 